Hi, welcome back to my channel and for today's video, we will be talking on our topology series for the accumulation point. So guys, thank you so much for your undying support. But if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe so that you'll be updated in a lot of videos that I'll be uploading soon. Okay, so let's start now. So we'll start with the definition of the accumulation point. So as defined, um, given that you have a topological space x here, and you have a point from x which is p. So we say that p is an accumulation point here of a subset A of X if and only if every open set G containing P contains a point of A different from P. So to illustrate on that mathematically, um, you have um, a P here that's an element of G and your G here is open. Then if you take away uh, P out from G and you take the intersection that with A, the resulting set is not empty. So in other words, you'll be able to find elements here and elements in G that they both have in common, which is different from P. So as defined, um, the set of accumulation point here uh, of A denoted by the symbol is called the derived set of A. So let's say, let's consider this example here. You have a tau uh, containing these uh, open sets. So this is uh, at a an open set here um, that defines a topology on your x. Your x here is the set containing a, b, c, d, and e. Okay, so let us consider a subset a here um, that contains a, b, and c. So this is a subset of x. So let us evaluate um, elements from x that is considered to be an accumulation point of um, your A. Let's double check A here. What are the open sets that contain A? So the open sets from tau that contain A is this one, this one, and this one. So let's double check the intersection of these sets from A. So if I'm gonna intersect X here in A, the resulting set will be the set containing BC and that's different from A. Okay, however, when I intersect A and the set containing A, the resulting set is A and it's not different from A. So therefore, A is not an accumulation point. I'm gonna check B. For B here, so the, the open sets in tau that contain B is the X and this set. So if I'm going to intersect this A with X, the resulting set contains A and C. And that's different from B. So that's good. However, if I'm going to check this set here with um, A, the resulting set contains elements different from B. So therefore, B here is an accumulation point. Well, let's double check C. Okay, so let's double check C. Okay, so what are the elements that contain C? So of course the X here, the set containing C and D, the A, C, and D, and the B, C, and D. If I'm gonna intersect this A, B, C with A, so it contains an elements that's different from C. However, we'll try to intersect this A here with C, D. The resulting intersection of A with C, D is just C and it's not different from C so therefore C is not an accumulation point. So let's double check D here. So the elements that contains uh, the open sets that contains D is this one, this, this, and this. So if I'm gonna um, evaluate them individually you can check that on your uh, own that D here is an accumulation point. Lastly if I'm gonna check E here, so the open sets are these and this one. And if I'm gonna intersect that with A, they contain, uh, the resulting intersection contains elements different from E. So therefore, this is an accumulation point. So to jump the conclusion with that, um, the set of accumulation points 
is called the derived set. So therefore, the derived set of A is B, D, and E. So if you are going to evaluate on this uh, from your A, notice that the only elements from the derived set of A that is coming from your A is the B. And the rest here are not. It's coming from X. So to give a remark on this um, concept about the accumulation point, so an accumulation point need not be an element of A. So an accumulation point of A. That's it. Okay, so let's consider another example here. Um, let X be an indiscrete topological space. So when we say indiscrete topological space, then the only open subsets of X are the X and the empty. Okay, so the implication is that X is the only open set containing any point P in X. P is an accumulation point of every subset of X except, except the empty set and the single tone set containing P. So to summarize on that, the derived set of A is empty if your A here is empty and um, it's the complement of the single tone set containing P, which is the same as um, A minus, I'm sorry, X minus the set containing P if A is the single tone and then this is x entirely if a contains two or more elements. So that's it. Okay, so let's consider another example. Um, given that you have a tau to be a topology on um, the set of natural numbers that consists of empty and all the subsets of n of the form E sub n of this one, where your n is an element of natural number. So question is, find the accumulation points of the set A containing 4, 13, 28, and 37. So this one, this EI, is the open sets um, containing point P in N, where your I here is less than or equal to P. Okay, so if n sub 0 is less than or equal to 36, then um, every open set containing n sub 0 also contains um, 37. And your 37 here is an element of A. So this is different. So this is different from n sub 0. Okay, so this is an acceptable accumulation point. However, if n sub 0 is greater than 36, so that's greater than or equal to 37. Then, what's the implication? The open sets, sets E, N sub 0, the set containing N sub 0, N sub 0 plus 1, N sub 0 plus 2, and so on, contains no point, no point of A different from N sub 0. Why? Because um, your n sub 0 starts at 37. So meaning to say that if you are going to intersect that with your A, so you'll be able to find elements that's not distinct from those elements of A. So therefore, um, those n sub 0 greater than 36 are no longer accumulation point. Therefore, the derived set of A is the set from 1 to up until 36 only. Okay, so the question is, when will a point P in X not an accumulation point of A that is a subset of X? So, if P here is not an accumulation point of A, then there exists an open set G such that P in G, G and um, if you take the intersection of A with G when it is taken away with P, the resulting one is empty. So what does it mean? Um, P in G and um, the G intersection A is empty or G intersection A is, is, is equal to the set containing P, which further implies that P in G and 
G intersection A is a subset of the set containing P. So this is now the implication when a point is not an accumulation point of a given subset of a topological space X. Okay, so let's consider another example here. Um, let A be any subset of a discrete topological space X. Then the derived set of A is empty. So how do we show that? We let P in X. So always remember that every subset of a discrete topological space is always open. So in particular, if our G here is a single tone set P, so this is open subset of X, but P in G and um, G intersection A, that's the same as the set containing P intersection A. And um, this is a subset of the set containing P. Okay. So this means that P is not an element of the derived set of A for all P in X. That is, our derived set is empty. Okay, so we will have a theorem here saying that if given two subsets of a topological space X, one is a subset of the other, then um, let's say the A and B. So A is a subset of B. So the derived set of A is a subset of the derived set of B. And I want you to prove on that. This is very easy to prove um, theorem. And um, this theorem, we will use this to solve for the following problems. And let me introduce you first with uh, this theorem here. So given that you have tau sub 1 and tau sub 2 be topologies on X, such that um, tau sub 1 is a subset of tau sub 2. So in other words, every tau sub 1 open subset of X is also tau sub 2 subsets of X. So further, your A here be any subset of X. The number 1, Every tau sub 2 accumulation point of A is also a tau sub 1 accumulation point of A. And tau sub 1 accumulation point need not be a tau sub 2 accumulation point. So let's prove first number 1. So let P uh, be a tau sub 2 accumulation point. And uh, we'll show that this P here is also a tau sub 1 accumulation point. So... This means that uh, if you have G m taking away the element contain element P and we intersect that with A here that's not empty for every G in tau sub 2 such that P is an element of G. Since our tau sub 1 here is a subset of tau sub 2, this implies that um, G taking away the set containing P intersection A, this is not empty for every G in tau sub 1 such that P is an element of G. That is, P is a tau sub 1 accumulation point. That's it. So it says here in the second part of the theorem that tau sub 1 accumulation point need not be a tau sub 2 accumulation point. So all we have to do is to find a specific example that would prove that tau sub 1 accumulation point need not be a tau sub 2 accumulation point. Number 2. Okay, so let's consider a usual topology U and a discrete topology script D on R. So R here is a set of real numbers. So observe that U here is a subset of D. Because of course the D contains every subset of R. Note that 0 is not a script D accumulation point of the set A where your A here is the set containing 1, 1 half, 1 third, and so on. Why? Since we've shown already on the previous problem earlier that the derived set of a discrete topology is empty. But your 0 here is an accumulation point of U with respect to the set of real numbers. That's it. So let's consider another example here. In fact, this is just a claim that given you have A and B here be subsets of a topological space X, then the derived set of the union 
is equal to the union of the derived sets. I think I don't have to prove on this one. It is pretty obvious. So I want you to solve on that, prove on that. But if you have any questions or clarification, feel free to comment down there so that I would know. And I can give you a discussion on how to prove on this. So that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. So if you have any questions or clarifications regarding on this discussion, feel free to comment down there so that I would know. You can also request or comment down there uh, a specific topic you'd like me to discuss. Guys, thank you so much for your undying support. And for those who are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe so that you'll be updated on a lot of videos that I'll be uploading soon. See you next time.